welcome to my channel, Oracle Intuitions. My name is Catherine, and this is your weekly reading for October 30th to November 6th. We're taking a look into the energy of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with the closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone, but I do recommend that you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. Also, Saturdays, 1 o'clock p.m., uh, we go live, so I We'll be doing mini readings on Saturdays at one o'clock mountain time. Thank you to everybody that was able to join in last week. And uh, like I said, these are going to be mini readings. They're not going to be full readings. For those of you that are seeking a full reading, please see my links below. They lead to my website, my Instagram, and my Facebook page. You can also message me at any of those links in regards to any of the organites that you do see in my videos as I do make all of these as well. And okay, let's get started, guys. Have an amazing week, many blessings, and happy Halloween to those that celebrate. Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for October 30th to November 6th. We're taking a look into the energy of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. However, I do recommend that you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. All right, let's get into it and let's see what is coming up for Scorpio. All right, for the mind we have, allow yourself to receive. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending you. Beautiful energy. We have for the body, we have daily practice. The more you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you become. And for spirit, we have blocks lifted. Previous obstacles come from fear and they are now lifted away. So I do feel that you are really working on removing some blocks and barriers that you may have had previously uh, suspending you really from some sort of action before. Uh, this daily practice coming in. So I feel that this is more consistency, okay? Whether this is within a relationship, whether this is within career or some sort of move ahead in, in some way, uh, it almost feels as though for some of you, this allowing yourself to receive. Um, sometimes we get into this place where we think we always have to give or we always have to, um, in some way, we're not allowing ourselves to receive either luck, love, or we put ourselves into this place of being undeserving in some manner. And what I'm getting here is it does feel that with that daily practice coming through, it feels as though this is something that you need to also start allowing. So whether somebody compliments, you just take it, say thank you. All right. A lot of times we try to deflect that. Um, we try to deflect that compliment or sometimes we try to stay in this place of being, um, you know, like humility or, you know, we just try to stay muted within that energy. And what we don't understand is those compliments or even, you know, signs and gifts from spirit in some manner. Um, they what they do is they actually allow us in order to receive more. All right. So when you, you just take it with that bit of okay, thank you so much. You know, it's that, it's that being generous of giving that, uh, it's like giving that honor back to somebody, you know, let them, let them compliment you. Let somebody give you a gift. Let the universe start giving you a gift because this is going to allow more blocks to be lifted, more barriers, whatever, you know, if you're dealing with some sort of issue of self-confidence, self-assurance, maybe there's an issue of fear that's going on here. And especially with this daily practice coming through, it does feel as though and what I'm hearing from spirit is the more that you allow us to give, the more you're going to receive, all right? Whether you think that you're worth it or not, and that's the interesting part, right? Because a lot of times, you know, it's not so much that we don't think that we're worth it. We just have these fears that are within us, or we have these blocks that have been put, you know, um, onto us from other people, perhaps, maybe from some, some, from some situations, some circumstances, whatever it is. But again, this daily practice, I do feel this is about consistency. For example, this could have to do with relationships. So if you're being very inconsistent, within a relationship, how are you going to receive what it is that you want or desire out of a relationship? It's just, just, just a thought, 
all right? It's something to put out there, it's something to truly think about. We're the ones that we do have to be consistent, especially if we have a partner or somebody that we're interested in that is either in this place of being you know, hesitant about moving forward, or maybe they're in this place of, I don't even know how this person thinks, you know, or what they think about me, simply because of the fact that they're not being consistent within some sort of, you know, daily, weekly, whatever it is. If you go from, you know, one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum, you're really leaving people or perhaps again, maybe perhaps circumstances in this place of unknowing. So practice that daily consistency in some way. Even for some, you know, and some people are more than happy with just like that, hey, good morning, how are you, whatever it is. Or if you're getting, um, you know, if you're receiving that, you know, respond back. Or, you know, you know what I'm getting at, okay? Because a lot of times we tend to think, well, I can just, you know, bypass this or I can respond later or I can do this at another time. Hey, we all have, you know, our, our places where we're busy, or maybe perhaps it's some sort of game. But again, that daily practice is going to make that difference. All right. We have those blocks that are being lifted. So what spirit is saying, I'm really trying to lift these blocks. I'm really trying to help you with this process. I'm really trying to remove you away from fear. It feels as though a gift is coming to you again, whether this is a relationship, whether this is within a move uh, towards a career of some sort, maybe some sort of, um, like, um, push towards a higher status of some, in some way. What I'm getting here is allowing yourself to receive the accolades that you deserve, okay? Whether it's just somebody, you know, complimenting on looks, complimenting on, you know, your intelligence, saying that you're dressed nice, whatever it is, you know, take that compliment and move along, right? Even if you're, even if you're in a place where you do feel uncomfortable with compliments, it's allowing yourself to receive, but also allow yourself to receive the gifts that the universe is trying to give you. A lot of times these gifts start showing up for us and we tend to think, well, I'm, I don't know if I'm there yet, or I don't know if I'm ready yet, or I don't know whatever excuse it is that we try to give ourselves. You know, here's the thing. If the universe is trying to give you a gift, it is going to be the right time for you. All right. Receiving it, you can always work out the little details on things later. But this really, if it's coming towards you, then allow yourself, allow yourself to receive it in some manner. All right. So let's take a look and see what clarification is coming through. And see what the universe has to say in regards to more about this. I just feel that you're really starting to open now. You're really starting to allow yourself to um, receive the energy, receive these beautiful gifts. Allow. It, it's, it's like there might be still some blocks there though. But I feel that you've been working on it. Okay. But again, that daily practice is going to make that difference. And whether this is, this could be mantras, maybe this is perhaps meditation, or like I said, maybe it's just being consistent in some sort of actions towards, you know, a career or perhaps a person or a relationship in some way. All right, let's see what's coming through. So we have that Ace of Swords coming in. So this is all about awareness. This is about communication. Like I said, I do feel to some degree this could have to do with communication. Again, maybe perhaps with a loved one, a person of interest, or maybe perhaps towards a career. This might even have to do with, you know, just being consistent um, in, in some way with communication towards a boss, co-workers, maybe family whatever it is, but I do feel that this is going to be an important practice to have or to start, um, not only to have, but to, you know, just to start putting into your daily life. It's interesting because that uh, Ace of Swords is also talking about awareness. So this is very much an awareness type of card. It's, it's the universe, again, really coming through, really giving you some sense of guidance. So it's almost as though you know what you're supposed to do. It, you know, you might even be sitting there and it's interesting because this is like the thought that I just had come through. And it feels as though for some of you, you might be able to relate on some you know, in some manner, but it feels as though I should respond. I should say something. I'll wait till later. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I don't need to respond right now. I don't need to, you know, give some sort of 
communication to this person or towards this thing at this moment. I can do it later. And I just feel that through that perhaps inconsistency, all right, that some of you might be going through, that that is really um, allowing these blocks and barriers to continue to build themselves. Whether those blocks and barriers are within yourself or they're within other people or other things that just aren't completely coming together at this point. So take a look at that consistency and see where it is. We also have that death card. So this is very much that Scorpio card. This is all about transformation, transmutation. All right. And I do feel that you have been working on this, which is allowing those blocks to be lifted. This is allowing yourself to see maybe perhaps practices that you did have in the past that weren't serving you, or maybe perhaps an attitude or a behavior behavior that you're starting to now let go of. And again, this could have to do with that daily practice, but also allowing yourself to receive because if we're in that negative energy or if we're in an energy where we think or we believe that things aren't going to happen, we really are building up those walls to prevent things from coming through. And we have the moon. You know, a lot of you may be in that fear that if I go for this, or if I move forward in this, what's going to happen? Where's that other shoe going to drop? What is, you know, what are the negative aspects behind this? This is almost like that psychic intuition, um, but it really does come from a past place or it comes from a negative energy. So it's not always sometimes the most positive energy that is coming through, all right? Again, I do feel that there may be perhaps you know, previous blocks that you had built up and it's now time to bring them through. But there's also that fear. If I let them down, will things work out? You know, I'm safer if I have my blocks up. I'm safer if I keep these walls up. But here's the thing is that when the more blocks and walls that we do have up, we're really not allowing ourselves to receive those gifts. And we have the Queen of Swords. So it's interesting. We have this Queen of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. This is very much an air energy. This could have to do with an Aquarius. This could have to do, you know, whether it's the Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign within your own aspects. Maybe perhaps it has to do with a particular person. But that Queen of Swords really comes through in the extent that when that Queen of Swords speaks, she's very diplomatic, she's very truthful, she's very honest. So I do feel that there needs to be some perhaps honest communication that is coming through. We have that Ace of Swords and we now have that Queen of Swords. So this is talking about really speaking from the heart. Okay, now a lot of it's interesting because the air energy isn't particularly an emotional card, right? This is very much a mental card, but it's also that card of being honest. So it's really dig into yourself. Again, go into the energy of what could possibly be blocking you. That queen of swords can also represent, especially with that sword coming through, her knocking down a lot of blocks and barriers that possibly could be in the way. But again, I do feel it has to do with some sense of communication. Yeah, it might be time to start putting passion towards something instead of being um, reserved. That Queen of Wands can also represent somebody who is very reserved, held back. They don't always, you know, it's like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say particularly that they're keeping secrets, but they sometimes only say what is necessary instead of allowing themselves to speak fully and really communicating what their wants, needs, and desires are, or really how their feelings or where those feelings are going at this time. So we have this Ace of Wands coming through. So what I'm feeling is it's time to bring in a new passion towards something. Again, this could possibly be a relationship. This could be a career. Maybe this is just a new passion about going through that transmutation or that transition energy to allowing yourself to receive, to allow yourself to start receiving those gifts from the universe. And we have the King of Cups coming through. Yeah, get into that energy of knowing where your emotions are. It's funny because we were just talking about that. So, you know, sometimes I feel the energy of what the cards are really trying to say, what the universe is trying to give to me as a message for you. And with that King of Cups coming through, this is somebody who's assured in their feelings. This is somebody who is strong and confident within their feelings. They know exactly what it is that they want. They want to go through it, especially or they want to go towards it, especially with this Ace of Wands coming through. So it feels as though it's time to cut out that energy of being reserved, maybe perhaps, you know, maintaining this air of diplomacy, you know, not allowing yourself to receive, putting up these blocks. It's time to stop that and start actually going towards what you want with this passion, knowing exactly what it is that you're feeling within that heart energy. 
Yeah, King of Pentacles, be strong within yourself, all right? This is this King of Pentacles comes up for you very often, Scorpio. And I really do feel that you're trying to reach a place where you're not only feeling strong and confident within yourself, but you're also basing things on a more practical energy, okay? This is a very stable and practical energy. So you may have that desire to have that stability with perhaps um, an, a person or maybe perhaps within yourself. But you're basically, when this king comes through, it's like you're building your empire in some manner, all right? But the way to doing that is, again, going to be going forward with that passion being going going forward with that emotion allowing yourself to open up to speak freely to allow yourself to express those emotions this king of pentacles doesn't hold back on things he doesn't hold back on his emotions because quite honestly he knows where he stands within his emotions he's good if somebody rejects him he's good if somebody you know, wants to move forward with him he just says what he has to say he's strong he's confident he's grounded energy and we have that Knight of Cups, see, making that offer. So perhaps this could have to do with somebody, you know, coming forward and making an offer with his, whether this is you, whether this is perhaps your person, maybe perhaps this is within a job or a career. This even could be you just making that offer to yourself saying, look at, I am ready to move forward. I'm ready to take the reins. I'm ready to make this offer to myself that I am going to start removing those blocks. But I do feel that for some, you may either want to make an offer towards a person or perhaps you are waiting for an offer to come. With that Knight of Cups energy, it is a validation in some manner. So this is the validation that it is safe to start making those steps towards somebody or that perhaps this person is going to be coming towards you. But again, you have to remove these blocks. These blocks need to be fully lifted. Allow spirit to help you with this process. Uh, I can't even believe this, that sun. Yeah, it, it like this is what I'm getting here. Because the energy behind the sun, first of all, it's also, a, for one, it's a very masculine energy. So whether or not you are a masculine or whether you're waiting in some aspect for a masculine or whether you're trying to achieve, you know, that sense of masculine energy by that king of pentacles, again, that strength. And it doesn't mean that the feminine energy is weaker. It's just that it's more nourishing or nurturing. Okay, so what I'm getting with that sun energy is that, but this also talks about rising above. So really rising above your fears, rising above things that are holding you back, rising above things that maybe have been keeping you down, rising above that queen of swords energy or that energy where you're just in this moon phase where you're, you're scared to move ahead, you have fears, you're waiting for that other shoe to drop. It really feels like you need to cut out that energy and start moving forward to this sun now it's interesting because we also had you know with that ace of ace of swords coming through again that awareness it's almost like you have that awareness that you know things could be so much better you know things could be in a better place you know that you're really making those steps or those strides or you're you're wanting to you're about to make those steps and strides towards what it is that you want to accomplish what it is that you want to fully receive and so this is spirit's way of showing you and giving you a guide towards that and it's just saying Saying, look at you know what you're in a safe place you can start allowing this allow yourself to receive because we always have your back the more blocks that you're lifted the more the things that you are going to be able to um let come through in this 3d reality it's like take them out of your dreams and start making them an actual 3d grounded uh reality for you at this time so let's take a look into relationships and see what is coming through all right so for relationships for you scorpio remember that relationships do not need to be romantic they can be friends family co-workers they uh could even be a relationship with yourself so let's see what is happening we're going to be pulling three cards from the Oracle of Mermaids. We're also going to be pulling three are the uh, Arcanum Tarot. All right. Yeah, Soul Cage. 
rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. You know, it's interesting. I almost feel like some of you are in that place. It, this may be with a current uh, relationship, maybe some sort of partnership. This even could be with yourself. It almost feels like you're holding back. All right. You're holding back in some way or you feel trapped within a situation. And again, this could be a current partnership. This could be a current relationship or something that is in your uh, immediate energy or it could be within yourself. And it feels, again, like allow those blocks and barriers to be lifted. Maybe those block blocks and barriers are a particular person or maybe a particular relationship that you're just feeling stifled within. It's time to move on. It's time to release it. It's time to move forward. This soul cage coming through, you can see her being, you know, him being rescued. And I do feel that it's time to rescue yourself from this. I feel like spirit is giving you those open doors. It's time to make that step forward. And again, however this is represented within your life or whatever aspect it's represented, I feel like it's like a green light, like it's time to let go. It's time to let go of whatever's holding you back. We also have sisterhood, uh, sisterhood friendship, allies, compatibility compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. I feel it's time to start looking around as to who's actually loyal to you. Who has, who have you been able to truly trust? Who have you been able to, who has been there to support you? Who has been there, you know, to fully, you know, help you along the journey in some way? Maybe this is even somebody perhaps in the past that, or it could even be within yourself, but I do feel that for some of you, this could have been somebody, it may, maybe not everything within, you know, this relationship has been great. You know, we have this soul cage coming through, but I do feel that there are people that you can most definitely trust. Okay. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, which again, I don't feel that you should either trap yourself or trap other people into the soul cage. This is what it almost feels like. And what I'm getting here is that for some of you, there has been somebody that has been very loyal to you very supportive they've always been there for you even if you know even if you've messed up or whether they've messed up whatever it is but it almost feels as though for whatever reason there is a um it's like a barrier or a wall that for whatever reason you've put up this could have to do with fear but it almost feels like you're trapping your soul or perhaps maybe in some way trapping their soul Okay. If you're hanging on to past mistakes, whether within yourself or other people, you're not really allowing that soul to be released. You're not allowing that soul to move forward. You're not allowing yourself to receive all the benefits of that particular relationship. And we have time and tide, oceanic spells and rituals. This is an interesting card because I do feel that for some of you, this could have to do with maybe perhaps praying, meditation. I do feel that for some of you, you know, messages may have come through from spirit. Again, I feel like spirit is guiding you within this. And I feel like you need to listen. It's almost like you know it's time to let go of something or it's time to release and maybe move forward or allow yourself to receive that new relationship or a relationship in some way or, you know, have a change within a relationship that is going to be uh, in the long run, very beneficial for you because there is going to be that, you know, unconditional love. There's going to be that loyalty. There's going to be, you know, that confidence between the both of you. But it does feel as though you've already, um, you, you have put that time into that meditation. Again, this could be prayers, maybe for some of you, even that spell work in some degree. But I do feel it's like you need to start really listening to those messages or you have been listening to the messages but you may be still holding on to some, again, negative energy or hanging on to some energy that's no longer necessary within this element in some way because it feels as though there's still a few blocks that are going forward. But remember, we had that King of Cups coming through. We also had that Knight of Cups coming through. So it feels like either somebody wants to come towards you or maybe perhaps you want to move towards somebody else. But I do feel it's time to change, make the change or that like change the direction in some way, because it does feel like you could per perhaps be putting a hold or putting a, a restriction within this relationship. Maybe you're in this place where you're just like, you know, holding them at a particular level instead of allowing that level to rise and really receive what it is that you both can benefit from this situation. Receive that unconditional love for the both of you. So let's get some clarif clarifying cards and see what is coming in. 
And remember, this doesn't need to be romantic. This can be friends, family, co-workers. It could be, you know, just people that you have or have had within your life that have put some sort of or that you feel like this this hold or this barrier or this blockage that maybe you feel that you need to continue it or that you can't be genuine and honest with them or maybe you're just holding back in some way. All right. Yeah, you've got that four of cups, see? It's almost like you're missing this opportunity. All right, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's what I feel. It's like you either feel like you've missed the opportunity or you could be possibly missing the opportunity by not allowing these emotions, by not allowing yourself to move forward. So it's time to make that change. We had that death card coming through. It is now time to make that change. You know, when we have that four of cups coming through, there's a meme that goes around with that cup. And it's almost like, um, you know, in, in this meme, the cup is in front of the person. And the meme says, just take the effing cup right? It's like, why are you missing this opportunity? Why are you missing this opportunity? Are you doing it out of fear? Are you doing it out of holding back in some way? What is it? Go in deep inside and figure out why is it that you're not allowing yourself to move forward within the situation? We also, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Can't be any more clear. When that judgment card comes up, you have his trumpet. You see him with that trumpet. It is, you know, um, what do they call that? It's like reckoning day right? The day of reckoning. And it's really time to go in, really go in, follow your heart, follow your soul, forgive yourself. Okay. The judgment card is also talks about forgiveness, but also looking at things with a realistic light. Where is it that you can make changes within your, you know, your personal core? Where is it that you can make changes within a particular relationship? What is it that maybe you feel that you could have done better. It's time to just have that day, that day of reckoning. Allow yourself to release it. Allow yourself to come to terms with it. Allow yourself to forgive yourself for it. That judgment card really does talk about unconditional love. And it really also can be that card of like that twin flame energy or that soul connection energy, right? Because in order to have that connection, both people really come to the sense of that place of judgment, um, but not in that negative way. It's like they're, they're allowing themselves to really look and say, oh my gosh, I, you know, I've put up these barriers. I've put up these walls. These are things that I could do better. These are things that I'm going to start working on. These are the things that I'm going to really start allowing myself to move forward with. And again, we want to start doing this. Okay. And it's coming through with that help from spirit. We don't want to miss that opportunity to move forward. We want to release that soul. All right. Especially if this is within a romantic relationship in some manner, it is time. It really does feel as though for some of you that there is this connection that is trying to come through this connection that you have been led to over and over again in some way, whether it's, you know, a, a person that you already know, a person that's already within your life, or it feels like that energy, because a lot of times we feel that soul connection, maybe before we even met the person. But I do feel that for some of you, this is very much that connection energy within an existing relationship. It may not be a completely romantic relationship, or maybe it's a relationship that you go back and forth on in some way, but it really feels like it's time to let go, go, go within yourself and allow yourself to start receiving what it is that you are to receive. That, that devil is coming in. So this devil is like, you're holding yourself, you're chained to something or someone possibly this even could be, you know, just within the energy itself, but you're not allowing yourself to move forward. It's time to break those chains. It's time to break them. Let them go. All right. We no longer need them. We don't need to be tied to something. That devil energy is like obsession, possession. Uh, you know, it can be also very dominating or domineering. So why are you hanging on to that energy? What is it? And again, however, you know, it relates to you in some way, whether it's from you or whether it's from somebody else. But why are you allowing that energy to come through? It is time to take a true look and time to start moving forward time to start allowing yourself to receive from the universe, from God, from the, you know, from your angels, your guides. It's time to start receiving what it is that you are to truly receive and, and, and enjoy, embrace it. It's time to move forward. So let's take a look at a closing card from the universe and see what is coming in. Okay. Closing messages for Scorpio. 
for October 30th to November 6th. These are messages from Spirit that they want you to know, focus on, or release. All right, messages for Scorpio. Messenger of thought. A new topic or intellectual project that is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know will meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. So I do feel, I do feel this is, so this is that, uh, Knight of Swords energy. So this is really somebody who is moving forward, or it's actually the Page of Swords energy. So this is somebody who is moving forward. Now, here's the thing. Again, we talked about that communication. All right, we had that communication at the beginning where we had that Ace of Swords coming through. So I am getting here that this is something that you may need to take another look at. All right. For some of you, it may have to do with actual documents, maybe something that you need to take a look at. Maybe there's some aspect that is going on within your life and it's time to really review something, whether this is a new purchase, maybe this is some, you know, a new job of some sort. But what I'm also getting here is that with that messenger thought, it's really time to start taking a look at your element of communication. How are you communicating? What are you, are you being honest? Are you coming through in a place that is understood? All right. A lot of times, you know, sometimes we think that we're being understood or sometimes we're, we think that we're saying what it is that we mean. But, you know, maybe it's time to just take a look at communication. If people are miscommunicating with us, maybe we have to take a look at our own communication skills as well. So we also have that ten of abundance coming through. Beautiful energy. Heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. The children are provided for and a comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong and you should be very proud. So this is an energy. I do feel like this is like a future energy for some of you. It could be a current energy. But what I'm getting here is it almost feels like it for those of you. Again, I do feel some of you moving towards a relationship or making a relationship more stable in some way. And again, this even could have to do with work or career or moving forward in some manner. But that 10 of abundance, when it's coming through, this is that 10 of pentacles energy. And this is very much that stability, that security that you're trying to seek. And I feel like spirit is saying, look at, in order to receive this, you may also have to pay attention to this. It's time for that communication. If there's somebody that you're trying to, or you're wanting to, you know, have this long-term stability with, or maybe perhaps the stability is with your, within yourself. Again, we have to have that consistency. We have to have that ability to be able to open up. We have to be able to speak clearly, be speak truthfully and speak honestly. We also have the healer of thought. So this is it's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters up your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring and has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. I do feel that for some of you, there's something that you need to let go of. Okay, we have this queen of pentacles energy coming through. For me, what I'm stealing, feeling with this is that again, for some of you, you may have to let go of something. Maybe perhaps this is a current relationship, a relationship that doesn't serve you in some way. This could have to do with literally decluttering your home, decluttering your mind. It's almost like a card of overthinking in this situation, not in general, but I do feel that it's time to unclutter. It's time to let go, time to heal, time to start that healing process in order to really receive and achieve what it is that you desire at this time. So that's the energy coming up for next week. So it may be something that you want to really think on, really go into that judgment card, really take a look at what it is that you can re release and what it is that you can start to receive. So I truly hope that this has helped Scorpio. If this reading has resonated with you, please click like, please share my videos and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, 1 o'clock Saturday p.m. Mountain Time, we're going to be going live. I can't wait to see you. Hope to see you there. Have an amazing week and many blessings.